Hi everyone. So this is our Cucumber tutorial session 3. So in this tutorial, I will be discussing about the data-driven testing in the Cucumber and how we can achieve it in the Cucumber. Okay, so let's see the agenda for today. So the data-driven testing Cucumber, I have listed six possible ways and um, utilizing the data tables in the raw method, utilizing data tables and hash map, then using a POJO class object, then using the examples in the scenario outline, and without using examples, I need to want to pass it as a step the pass it as a parameter in the step itself and the last one is the parameterization utilizing the excel json or xml files i won't prefer the sixth one because we are already having so much uh, existing feature in the cucumber itself to carry out our data driven testing part right okay so first uh, i would like to tell what is the data driven testing so data driven testing utilizing the framework the applications you are going to check or any software you are testing so that uh, those test script uh, will get automatically run uh, multiple times uh, utilizing the multiple inputs or the validation values okay so multiple inputs or the validation values you have to provide uh, you can provide it either page from the external files or in the cucumber uh, you can uh, provide in the data tables itself okay or you can pass it as a parameter so let's see one by one so first i'll be using the data table and the raw method okay so i'll be doing the operation for this uh, site i mean in that site i will try to register one user i will pass the information of the user in the step itself and i'll be checking whether the user registration is successful or not okay so let's go back to my clips okay so this is my sample uh, feature user registration in the market type site whatever we are doing given background i have a valid set of data and access to the registration page okay then i'll be doing the scenario single user registrations okay when registration page displayed then i provide the data blah 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 then clicking on the submit button and after the submit button pressed and i will take it to the thank you for registering i will take it to the post registration page and i will this thank you for registering uh, text should get displayed there okay and after that i will click on sign up and i will close my browser so this is a very sample uh, scenario that have written utilizing the step tradable okay so let's see first uh, let me go to the step definition of this okay so the first step difference file for this i have mentioned it uh, step difference mark id here itself okay uh, just just hold on so in that in the step different file i have uh, mentioned two hooks before and after hooks that is taking care that is not nothing but taking care uh, i mean it's initially in the browser window and we are passing our and we are I'm passing the url in that before and after hooks okay so i'll come to it later in the hook sections and let me show you when registration is displayed so So this this keywords are like uh, given a valid set of data and access the registration page well uh, it will navigate to the particular page the page you have mentioned here and registration page displayed okay so once we navigate to the registration page i'll be clicking on the register link okay so i'm clicking on the register link here utilizing the javascript executor and the next step then this is the most important step here let me show you so let me show you what are the steps so in that step itself i have taken one user data object to the data table and i have also taken a list of list of string object data so the runtime uh, uh, so, so the step data table i mentioned all the values of the string so the list of string object will just store in a list and utilizing the user data dot raw it will face the raw element of that uh, step data table and it will store in the data object okay so next thing i've initialized one counter variable i equal to zero and you do it in get incremented tail to the data table size so what is the data row size it is the size of the row total number of row where so total number row is seven so data dot size it will uh, it will loop through the uh, total seven times okay and it will uh, print the accordingly the value of the particular field okay uh, if you if you want to print or also want to print the data table then you can do you can do do this way or else you can uh, skip it okay, this part 
and now we are uh, sending the fetching the data and passing it to the uh, applications field okay so the first field the first uh, field is sending then is data dot gate 0 dot gate 1 gate 0 is the location of the first row and gate 1 the index of the first column according to for second will the say second uh, index will be row index will be 1 and column index will be same see my data table this is the first column the first column containing all the data so the column index will be same for uh, for everything for every uh, field we are sending data this will be same and uh, only the row index will get changed okay so the first one is 0 next one will be 1 2 according it will get changed so sending all the data and after passing all the data now what i'm doing i'm um, click on the submit button and then uh, I'm asserting that thank you for registering page should be displayed. Click on sign up and closing the border browser. So let me run my feature and let's see. It's taking some time. Okay, so it's going to the registration page. I'm providing the data. Click on the submit button, asserting text, sign off, and browser close. Okay. So this total seven steps, one scenario, all of us successfully. Okay. So uh, so as of now, I have seen I have passed data successfully and passed the scenario successfully, single registration. But what if uh, we want for multiple registrations? Okay. So what will be the case? So in um, how would I pass the parameter in the for multiple users? Uh, okay. So let me show you. So using the map in database, we can pass uh, multiple data. Okay. At runtime. See the difference. Uh, In the first scenario, that what of the row field I mentioned, I mentioned here is a column field. First name, last name, phone, email, username, password, and confirm password. And three user data I mentioned. So if we run this step and this this step, then I enter the valid data on registration page and verify the post registration. This this step will run thrice because I mentioned three user data row, right? So this this step will uh, repeat it thrice and we will follow the registration of the three user and i will close the version so let me show you the steps of it okay. so here is the step i enter the valid data on the registration page and verify the post registration okay scenario dot write this is for reporting feature okay i have taken on map string the hash map feature this um, hash map uh, is a value key and value pair combinations so we have taken a one object of the hash map and uh, we have also like the previous example we have, we have taken a user table uh, object of the table class and and uh, we are passing as a map as a string class key value pair okay so let's see and we are passing send keys dot i mean for the first input uh, first name we are passing as a send keys dot user dot get first name so get first name Yes, first name is a column name. Okay, the first name is column name, last name. So each column name I have mentioned here, column wise. Accordingly, for this column, the value will get fetched. Okay, so it will the for each loop, it will uh, it will it will check through the uh, user user data table and it will find the first name, last name, phone number, email for each row and it will provide the data. It will send the data at the runtime applications. Okay. So, but uh, one drawback is there like uh, if you do it, if you, I mean, if you mention uh, data table this way, then these steps only will be repeated. So, in the previous example, what I was doing, I was sending the data and clicking on the submit button. So, it will take us to the next page. But if you try to do the same in that page itself, then it will give you an error because it, it won't allow, it won't be able to find the first name right i can let me show you okay the first thing it will face a first row data table first name last name phone email username successfully okay then i'm clicking on the submit button so what will the next place so it will try to face the second row but you are already in the 
already clicked the submit page so we are already in the different page so it will fail the case right so that's why i mean it's better to use the scenario outline or examples if you want your scenario to be run uh, for multiple variables okay if you want your scenario to be run for multiple data then you can use the scenario outline but if you want only one step to be repeated multiple times then you can use the hash map so here i have using the hash map i'm passing on as a data as a hash map and i'm clicking on the submit button then i'm trying to going to the register button again so in the step itself let's see if you see that uh, in the step itself i mentioned inside the for each loop so for the first time it will provide the data and then click on the submit button after the submit button it will check the thank you for registering page accessible display or not if it is displayed then it will again click the register button so it, it's taking us back to the registration page while i will be again provide the second data okay so it's like basically looping through the registration module again and again i'm repeating the repeating this step actually thrice okay so let me show you uh, let me just remove this part So application is getting loaded clicking on the register button then for the first set of data row okay okay assertion successful going to the register page again for the second data click on submit click on register again and for the third data okay then i'm closing uh, then i'm closing the browser okay to see i mean uh, in that let me call it yeah so i uh, first we are the registration page then entering the user registration details and the first we are registering the registering the first letter row adit row second rakeshinia uh, the rakeshinha then third priti sharma so three user getting registered and for three user we are asserting that thank you for registering that page should be displayed after the post registration okay and after uh, three years registration registered successfully we will be closing the browser and our scenario is passed so in the system or printer and i mentioned the user it will face the first name and last name for each uh, each operations of loop so that's why it's getting printed registering i through registering pre-registering okay so we're done with our hash map so I have shown you how to send multiple inputs or data and we can pass it in the uh, step data table. Okay. So in the same we can achieve it by the POJO class object. So we need to implement one uh, POJO class with the getter and setter method and using that we can also pass the data at the runtime application. So in the next tutorial I will be covering that uh, running uh, multiple inputs using the POJO class object. Okay. So thank you for watching.